hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how hackers control the remote computers or in on the internet so, uh, for this experiment I'm going to use Metasploitable 2 and Kali Linux which is running on my virtual box currently and let me let me start with this video okay first I need to check the IP address what is the IP address of my Metasploitable? So as you can see, uh, one the IP address is 192.168.29.240. Let me ping it from my Kali machine. If it is pingable, it means my machine can my Kali machine can access Metasploitable too. So as you can see, it is easily accessible. So I'm um, I'm able to perform so I'm able to perform the attacks so how hackers gains access to the remote computer for that I need to figure it out what are the vulnerabilities which is residing to the remote computer for that we have a tool called nmap to find out uh, the vulnerabilities in the machine uh, what a hacker will do they simply try to discover those vulnerability so for that we need to write down the command called nmap so you need to type this command nmap minus sv minus f and the IP address of the target machine so using this command you are able to see all those vulnerabilities which are running on the machine so using this you are able to find out all those vulnerabilities on the remote computer and here you can see there are some couples of vulnerabilities we have found out in my previous videos i have already shown you doing this already and exploit one of these vulnerabilities and for this video I'm gonna use this VNC vulnerability to take the control on the remote computer so for that we need to figure it out what this what is what are the exploit for this vulnerability for that you need to figure it out on the internet what are the exploit for this particular vulnerability so as you can see here that I'm getting some exploits Here are the informations regarding this port 5900 and below you can find out uh, what are the processes which you can follow to gain the access so as you can see it they uh, they use this module in msf console so so firstly we need to open msf console so msf console is nothing but it's a listener tools which allows us to gain access to the remote computers so what we will do here is just type the command msf console so to use this module we need to simply copy copy this module and type the command use and paste this module and you can see the location has been changed to auxiliary scanner vnc slash vnc slash vnc underscore login uh, to use this we need to see what are the fields required to use this module for that you need to type the command show op options to see what are the fields required to use this module you can see our host is empty here for that you need to provide the IP address of the remote machine here you don't you need to provide the IP address of the remote computer 
in my case uh, my computer is uh, one dot portable 2 and its ip address is 192.168.29.240 and to set our host we need to type the command set our host equals to ip address of my remote machine 192.168 sorry eight dot twenty nine dot two forty let me cross check it okay okay it is correct now I simply need to run this module for that I need to type the command run sorry for that I need to type the command run and as you can see the for vnc the password is uh, the login is successfully completed and for that the password is password so uh, it took a half of second to finish this exploits and here you can see we are getting the login successful with the password password and so the, as you can see our target didn't change the pa password it remains same and by using this password we can access the target system let me show you how you can do it for that you need to run a tool called Remina uh, it's a small window which is used to take over on remote computer and all you need to just choose between this three option and in in this case you need to choose this pnc and type the ip address against this so my victim's ip address is 192.168.29.240 press enter a task for password and you already know what is the password it's password and click on ok and here is the terminal of the remote computer so as you can see this is the root access to the metasploitable let's see what is its ip address as you can see this is the same ip address which we had used and uh, let's see what are the privileges we have for that i need to type this command who am i and as you can see i have root access to this pc it means i can do anything with this computer so pretty much i have root access on this computer i can type pwd to check my current directory that's it guys we are done with this video and let me know in the comment box if you are facing any difficulties thank you so much